afternoon. It is Shayna with Charm by the Sea again. And I wanted to talk sand dollars for a minute or two. So down here in Florida, we get something called red tide. And back in 2018, we had about 20 months of red tide. Red tide is absolutely horrible. It causes respiratory issues, but it also kills hundreds of thousands of fish and dolphin and turtles and manatees, as well as sand dollars. That summer, when the wind was shifting certain ways, I was able to go on my beach walks. And one weekend at Stump Pass State Park, I found 2,800 that is 2,800 sand dollars dead and washed up on shore. Anyone that I found that was alive, I immediately put right back in the water. However, with red tide, many, probably 99% that I found were all dead and already washed up. This is one of my favorites right here. Most of them were under an inch in diameter. So I brought them all home. I spent a couple weeks cleaning them up with sand dollars. If you use too much bleach in your water, it tends to dis disintegrate them. So I had to find the perfect mixture of a bleach water mixture that would clean them, but um, not make them so brittle that they totally disintegrated. I put them all up on my website as necklace earrings um, sets, as well as individual pairs of earrings and individual necklaces. And to this day, they are one of my number one best-selling items. However, they are also the biggest PETA item, P-I-T-A, pain in the you-know-what item. Because one, they are so brittle. Two, I have to sort through hundreds to try to find not only a matching earring pair, but a set of earrings that matches the sand dollar. Once I do that, then they have to be coated not once, not twice, not three times, but four times with a glossy finish. That takes 24 hours per coat to dry. And then I have to attach the earring and necklace findings to the set for a finished product. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are stunning. I will um, splice, I'll do a, another video that shows them in the box with the tissue paper and how I package them for presentation and they make an absolutely stunning gift for anyone. Despite four coats of gloss, they still are fragile. However, I have never once, and I've sold well over a hundred sets of these, I have never once had somebody complain that their set has broken. However, all that said, these sand dollars literally on the beach, all 2,800 all, all 2800 of them literally to me represent free money that I'm picking up off the beach. Because these sets, the earrings sets are $10 each, the necklaces are 14 and the sets are 18 each. So that said, because I, Really, the only thing I pay for is the gloss, the jewelry findings, and the packaging. It would seem like it's an easy no-brainer. However, again, every single time I get orders for these, I just curse as much as I celebrate. For now, I'm going to continue this line. However, I am so, so tempted to discontinue this line just because of how much of a headache it is for me. See, look at all of those. And I am so, so super picky and such a type A person 
that if any little sand dollar has any little chip in it, like this one has that chip right there, I refuse to use it as jewelry. I saw one in here. Okay, like this sand dollar right here has that little broken corner of it. I refuse to use that. Sand dollars that won't fully bleach out like this, I refuse to use that for jewelry as well. What am I going to do with all of these that I don't consider jewelry grade? Some of them are beautiful, but just not jewelry grade. This one, I may try to re-bleach a little bit. I mean, it's all of these sand dollars have sat here since 2018. Um, but I may try to re-bleach some of these to see if I can whiten them up a little bit more. However, I'm also just tempted to just take a picture of these, list them all for sale on Etsy or eBay and just be done with it. Um, but then I finish a set and I see how beautiful they are. I get amazing reviews from people who have ordered these sets and hearing how happy people are with them and how much it makes their day makes me keep listing them for sale every time they sell out. The past six weeks, these sets have sold out multiple times I usually wait about 24 hours, have that internal struggle with myself, and then relist them again. In addition to um, the sand dollar necklaces and earring sets that I do, I also want to show you what I've done with one of the larger sand dollars. Please excuse, actually, I'm just going to pause the video and pick it back up so you're not seeing my messy house. Okay, I wanted to show you what I did with one of the larger sand dollars that I found at the beach. I cleaned it up, soaked it in a bleach water mixture, and then hot glued it to one of these natural burlap canvases that I found at Hobby Lobby. I love these canvases. As you can see, this is a three set with two real starfish and then a real sand dollar. Don't forget, everything that I collect is already dead. I do not live shell, nor do I recommend live shelling. You will hear that over and over in my videos again because it is against the law. And unfortunately on social media, when I post some of these pictures, I've been accused several times of live shelling, but I can assure you that neither my children or I live shell at all. So this I, I just am a believer of simple elegance, and this set is extremely simple, but stunning and elegant. And I will post um, at the end of this video, the link to my Etsy shop where you can check the set out and buy it if you would like. Okay, it has now been four days since I filmed the beginning of this video. And the sand dollars have been coated and the jewelry findings have been attached to them. They are now packaged up and ready to go. Um, this particular order ordered three necklace earring sets. And because the sand dollars are fragile, I like to put the necklaces and the earrings in two separate boxes rather than one long necklace earring box. I just try to prevent any chance of breakage. I also put the necklace and the earrings on these brown jewelry cards versus the traditional white ones because it's just not visually pleasing to have the white sand dollars on the white cards. Turquoise and teal are my favorite colors, so I always use turquoise tissue paper. The jewelry boxes come with cotton squares and I divide those in half and I keep half in the bottom of the box and then I put the other half on top of the earrings and necklace and then fold the tissue paper over and put the lid on the box. Normally my box lids have my logo sticker on them. However, I have run out of them. I thought I had an extra pack somewhere, but for the life of me, I have not been able to find them. I am very type A organized person and everything has its spot. However, I moved about six months ago and I haven't found something still. So I'm not quite sure where those others are. But anyway, I have more coming. Unfortunately, this order will not have those stickers on the boxes, but it does have 
my business card in there, and then all of the packages that I mail, I also put one of these stickers on here that just says, thank you, your purchase made my day. I hope this package brightens yours because your purchases truly do make my day and make me smile. And I'm so thankful for every one of you who support this mom entrepreneur and my small hobby business, which is quickly growing into my full-time business. So I thank you so much and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.